And we're back to learning Escape, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a Dodecahedron. These geometrical shapes consist of 12 polygons, and we can render that easily if we want to have it as a 3D object. Just go to Extensions Render and 3D Polyhedron, go to Model File, and pick the Dodecahedron on Object. Under View, you can set the angles. Let us just check the live preview. The first three are important on the x axis is 30 minus 15 for the y axis and 60 for the z. That way, you've got one polygon yeah, straight facing you. If you adjust it, you will rotate this object. The remaining three can be ignored as long as they're zero. So 30 minus 15 and 60. Under style, you can set it, for example, I'll give it a different color. It's RGB, so red, green, blue. Or we can also just apply it. And then afterwards, select it, press Shift Ctrl G to ungroup it. And now you've got these individual shapes and you can adjust them, for example, with the basic swatches down here. Let me press Ctrl Z to return to the default here. I press Ctrl G. Or maybe you want to create such a dodecahedron as a foldable element. If you want to do that, just use the polygon tool, make sure it's selected and not the start tool, and make it five corners. Hold Ctrl when you rotate it, and put one corner to the top like this. Let me give that a different fill. So this is our basic element. Press Ctrl D to copy it. Click on it again, rotate it while holding control, and place it at the bottom of the first one. We've got the snapping enabled and snap to paths is also active. Let me give the basic element a different color. I'll select the one at the bottom. I've got also the snapping to the center active right here, so this icon. And now I can place the plus sign right here in the center of the basic element. Now I go to object and transform. Make sure the one at the bottom is selected. We need five, so 360 divided by 5 is 72. The direction doesn't matter. If you apply it like this, it jumps to the different sides of the basic element. Now you only have to press Ctrl D every time to make a copy rotate to these different sides. So we've got 5 rotated around the basic unit, so it's 6. It's one half of the dodecahedron. We need to copy that. So select it all. And put that to the side, then Ctrl D, drag a copy out of there. Now we need to position that. Select it. Oh, I missed this one. Let me select it again. Put it right there, it should snap. And now you want to rotate it a little bit so that the other side fits here. Click on it again, then reposition the plus sign. If you run into problems here like me, it's a good idea to just select it again and press Ctrl G to group it. Click on it again, reposition the plus sign, and then rotate it. It should work now. Let me give all of that a stroke. So black one, I hold shift and click on this black color swatch. And this is the outline that you need to create a dodecahedron as a foldable element. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.